fit the car? It's yours. It's yours. I right, take it. Go hop in it. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah. Go get in it. Right? You and your daughter dressed up like you're from the 1950s. Why is there a 1956 Ford Thunderbird behind you? What is going on today? Well, today is a super fun video because not only do we buy a 1956 Ford Thunderbird, that is amazing, we're giving it to our grandfather, Papa Al. We're giving him one of his dream cars. So a couple months ago, I bought this 1956 Ford Thunderbird because it was just too nice to let pass up. I couldn't let it go. But what I didn't know was how much Papa Al loved this car. He was like a little child. You bought the Thunderbird. There's our car. Now what you're seeing is pretty much what I'm seeing because I didn't really look through this thing before I bought it, which I don't suggest doing. You should look through the cars before you purchase it. But I went through the lane, I raised my hand, and now I own it. Now he's 81 years old, and when he was looking at this and playing with it, it was like looking at a 16-year-old kid tinkering with his toys again. It brought him right back to his childhood. Are you adjusting the carburetor manually? Yeah. You're doing it by ear? Yeah. It made me think, Craig, you can't just sell this car. You gotta give it to him. Now, Papa Al has always been so good to us and he deserves something nice back to him. So today's video, I'm gonna walk you through this 1956 Ford Thunderbird that is amazing. And at the end of the video, we're gonna give it to my grandfather as a gift, which I'm super excited for. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. This is my daughter, Kendall. Let's get going. Once again, I got burned by the auction, and the way it happened was there was no key in the T-Bird, if you remember. Well, sometimes dealers just don't want their keys in their specialty cars because they don't want people in and out and playing with all the buttons and messing with their cars. So I just assumed that was the reason why. But sneaky dealers take their keys out, so I would think that, but really it's because they don't want me driving it to know that there's no reverse because I probably wouldn't have bought it, right? So they got me. Chairman says he found some surprises in this T-Bird. Look at that. You know what these are? Yeah. Wheel skirts. skirts. That's the original the radio. radio. All the original, original hubcaps. Tube. What are those? Inner tubes. Those are inner tubes for the tires? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Look at the jack. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's amazing. That's so awesome. One of my favorite parts, I love those taillights. Car freshly detailed, now we don't have a reverse. German is just about finished. We still have to do under the engine. And I think the front bumper was a little dirty and then we're gonna obviously get an air filter and then it goes to the shop next week for the transmission. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Let's throw that wheel skirt on, which is actually kind of fun to put on because it's so easy. So it pops right in with these two teeth. Oh yeah, put that one in first and now slide the top up. There you go, right there, There, that's in. Now push it up on your side more. And then you pull that lever and tuck it in. Oh yeah, so nice. I have the T-Bird at another transmission shop. Let's see if they can get it done for me. I just left the gym, so, you know, ting, sweat. All right, and let's see if these guys can get it done. So one cool feature about this 1956 Ford Thunderbird is that you'll notice there's no gas door on this side, and there's also no gas door on this side. So where the heck is the gas door? Well, in the 50s, sometimes they're behind the taillights, but not on this car. You'll see this lever right here. Put the lever down, the spare tire falls forward, and then, voila, there's your gas door. So what's cool about this car is it came with a hard top and a soft top, and this is a canvas soft top, not a vinyl soft top. And to lower it, these are very sensitive. Pull here. Pull here, and then here, 
and then here. And then we have them here. And right there is already out because somebody didn't put it in correctly. So we're gonna do this. So for the easy drives, you can actually lock it in place, leave it down, or it can fold up behind the seat. All right, Kendall, let's see what you got going on today. So you got the poodle skirt, the 50s handkerchief, you even got a rockabilly tattoo going on. I'm dressed up in my varsity letterman's coat from high school. I feel like if I lived in the 50s, this is probably how I would have dressed, so I thought it'd be appropriate. You look amazing, by the way, and so does this car. Now, this is a 1956 Ford Thunderbird V8 convertible. This was a direct competitor to the original Corvette. Now, before the T-Bird really became like gigantic and not that cool, this was the car to have. This is like a businessman's toy. And now everything about this brings you back to the 50s. You actually feel like you're from the 50s when you're driving this thing because everything is, it's like a time capsule. This is how the world was in the 50s. You can see the sharp arrows, the, the angles and the lines, but it's still round at the same time. So it's sharp and round and futuristic. Now we have the hard top at my shop, but look at the chrome trim that goes around the windows. The fit and finish of this car, the way these things were built, this is when you say, let's make America great again. This is how things were. We have the wire wheels with the spin on center caps, the white wall tires. Oh no, this is the skirt. We gotta find the skirt, Kendall. Now one cool feature about this car, which wasn't really common in the 50s, the hood release is under the dash. Typically the hood release was underneath the front bumper and in this car it's under the dash and the hood opens forward now there we have our thunderbird ford v8 the iconic hood scoop and the circle headlights this car is so neat but there's so much more to it than that now we have our bench seat so you go to the drive-in and neck with your gal oh sandy we have the era correct looking radio but it's a cassette player we have this is actual glass with writing imprinted on the glass all the way around and it's backlit and has the needles behind the glass, which is really neat. Now who knows what that button right there does? And then we have our emergency brake here. Swift, sure, Ford power brakes, power seats, power windows that actually work. We have our air here. All right, Kendall. Yeah? You ready to go for a ride? Yeah. Let's go give this to our grandfather. Check out these old Ford keys. Now you have the old Ford V8. There's the V for the V8 right there. It says Ford on it and then what my grandfather told me to remember is the keys face up. The, the cut is always up. Put it in here, give it a little pump, twist, and we're running and she purrs. One cool feature too, the horn. We like my that, don't we? Part. Your favorite part? Look at all this design right here, how neat all that is. I feel like I'm at the hop right now, don't you? Yeah. I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you. Now we have to go find that fender skirt though. That's a big deal. It's probably unreplaceable. Found it. Had it in the storage. I feel like this would be the car in the movie Grease. This is exactly the car that somebody would have had in the movie Grease. Wait, what did you say? All right, so if you've been watching our videos, you already know Papa Al, but if you haven't been, let us give a little brief overview of Papa Al, one of the greatest men to have ever existed. Now, my grandfather has literally never missed an athletic event. He has gone to every one of your soccer games, every one of Logan's soccer games, any, every single one of my wrestling tournaments as a child, never missed anything. Now on top of that, anytime I need him in an emergency, he drops what he's doing and he comes and helps like us. when the trailer was on fire. Exactly, remember when our boat trailer caught on fire? He dropped what he was doing, he met us 40 minutes away. I didn't even ask him to, I just yeah. asked him for his opinion. Dropped what he was doing, showed up with his tools and fixed our boat trailer on the side of the road for us. Yeah. This one's tight. We are officially done. That's it. It is 9.53. We started at 6 o'clock. So it's almost it's four hours. hours. Yeah, we got thanks, no thanks to me. All thanks to all Papa All thanks Al. to Papa yeah. Al, our savior. When I was in high school, I took a Jeep out into the woods and I got it buried up to the doors. He was on vacation in Maine and he drove back from his vacation to come bail me out of the mud. That's how good Papa Al is. Now he did that to Papa Kev too, because Papa Kev made that same mistake with his truck when he was a kid. He worked two to three jobs his whole life to make sure everybody was supported. And then my grandmother obviously was his support system. So Grammy was the one that took care of the family and the house while he was the one working his butt off to provide for everybody. And it's, I think Papa Al is due for a nice little gift. He has a gun. So he's at church right now. We'll give him a call. 
Hi. Hey, what you doing? Nothing. Where are you? We're right down in the parking lot. All right, hang on. Hey, how are you? Yes. Cool outfits, cool isn't it? Cool outfits, yeah. Is this the car? It's yours. It's yours. I'd right, take it. Go hop in it. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah. Go get in it. I can't take that. Yeah, you can. No. It's yours. I can't bear to sell it. It's too nice. I'd rather you have it and... What are you up to? You can hang out with your buddies and tinker with it. Compare it to Pete's Corvette. Aren't your kids cold? Come check it out. The reverse works. It's gassed up. No, you better sell it. I can't take it. You better sell it. I don't need to sell it. I don't have to sell it. I can't bear to sell it. I'll never find another one. Yeah. Hop in, let's check it out. It's not easy to get in and out of, I've learned. <laughs> and I found out that there's no tilt wheel as far as I know. No. Oh, what is that? <laughs> he knew right away. I had no idea it did that. <laughs> wow. What engine is in this? I couldn't remember. 312. 312 V8. Yeah. And what transmission? Yeah, I think it's the FX. Fordomatic? Yeah. What is just air deflectors? Yeah. Check this out. Thank you, sir. I got all these. I went to the store, found some cassettes. So you can listen to Johnny Cash, you can listen to The Heart. I've heard that song before. 1950, oh look at this. Country music from 1956. I don't even know if this works. We bought I, it. I, I bought it a few months ago, and I bought it just for fun. And he knew everything about it. And when I looked at him, it was like looking at a 16-year-old kid again. So we cleaned it up, fixed a couple things, and now it's his. So 1956, you were how old? 16. 16. So when did you meet Papa Al? I, I was walking through the cemetery, and my mother told me to go and pick up a stiff, and I did. <laughs> How did you dress in the 50s? Like, like Kendall. Like Kendall, you wore the poodle skirts and everything? Poodle skirt, white buck shoes. Yeah, that was the style. <laughs> it's a perfect day for it. Where's Harry? How the heck are you? My grandson just gave me that. Really? Are you kidding me? No, I'm more shocked than... What? What's going on? Fred drove up the tracks. Picked you up? Presented me. You presented this cat. Really? Gave, yeah. Gave it to you? Yes. Ah. Oh. Is it Harry's? It's not your car, is it? No. Are you sure? <laughs> you have this car? I have a hot top. You do? It's in the garage, right? Next no store? kidding. Right, right next door in the garage. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. She's in nice shape, huh? Yeah, but look what you've got. You got the, the freaking uh, T bird spokes. Yeah. yeah. You don't have the T-brace folks? No, I just have regular hubcaps. So what year is this one? That's a 2003. 2003, yeah. and the styling is like perfectly mimicked. I'm surprised they didn't do fender skirts for this car. Yeah, I know you can buy them after Oh, can you? I've seen them, but you know what? They look kind of odd, on Odyssey. Oh, wow. I had no idea you had, oh, I love the red rims. And yeah, the red I had those interior. When I uh, first got it up at wow. the pro finishing. Oh my goodness, I had no idea this was here. There's the air cleaner you need. Wow, that's so clean. Yeah, it is. 
factory AC or is that a generator? Oh, that's, that's a generator. generator. That's a okay. generator. There's no power steering, no yep. power brakes. This battery, it's not a battery, it's a case that Harry made to replicate the six volt battery. <laughs> there's a battery a power at, punch. There's a battery under there. Wow. Well, I'll take that one. Yeah, you can have that, Al, if you want. Wow, that's beautiful. So what's the difference between the 55 and 56? Um, the 56 has the winglets. Yep. This didn't. Mm -hmm. It has sun visors. This didn't. Yep. It has this, the little vents. Oh, yeah. This didn't. And she and has the... Uh, volt. And it's 12 volt. It's yeah. It's a 6 volt positive ground. Wow. Oh, and no spare. The spare's in the trunk. Did they, they made the trunk uh, on the back of the trunk because people complained of tooth and the portholes. They couldn't see as too much of a blind spot. They didn't like the fact there was no vent. They didn't like the fact there was no visor. And they didn't like the fact that they couldn't put golf clubs in the trunk uh -huh. because the spare takes up yep. the trunk. Oh geez. See that? Yeah. I mean that's like that takes up a lot of space. Yep. So yours, the exhaust comes out the corner of the bumper. Yeah. yeah. Yours, this is the exhaust right here. Yeah. See you guys. Do you know that this is my first convertible? I've never owned a convertible. 81 years, never had a convertible? Never had a convertible. Just to show you, first time for everything. What is that? One hour later. He took the waitress in the Chinese restaurant out to his car to show it off. <laughs> Do you mind hopping in? I just want to take a picture of you guys. This is elder torture. <laughs> I protest. I'm too old for this. All right, you're good. Oh, God. Go around the block. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Kendall, save me. You're supposed to help your great-grandmother. What year is this? 1956. Oh my gosh. Marianne, I can't take this. No, this is this is too much. He shouldn't have done this. No, we gotta go to Big Lou. Oh, you're a pain in the ass, just like your grandson. Where did he get this car? He bought it at the auction. Why? He, he was gonna resell it, then he found out what it's worth. He's gonna keep it, then he says... What's it worth? He could never replace it. What's it worth? That'd be worth, I don't know, 30,000? Really? I'm gonna put a for sale sign on it. What you think, Grab? Oh, 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 it's, 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 it's a dream. So that is it. That is your new car, congratulations. So it's Thursday. Just like every other Thursday, you're at the auction helping me move some cars around. I couldn't do everything I do without you. And just like last week when I called you at 10 o'clock because I missed the bus at Logan Airport and you had to drive an hour to come pick me up and drive me back home. All those things that you've done for me my entire life, this is like a small token of my appreciation. So I wanted to say thank you. That's why I got this Thunderbird and, and wanted you to have it. So thank you very much. I love you. Thank you. Love you. It's an amazing gift. Hey, I just want to take a minute to say thank you to all of you as well. None of this could have been possible without the viewers that have been watching my channel and all the support from all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for everything you've done. You're helping me make my dream come true, and I hope you enjoy what we're putting out for you guys. Have a great day, and thank you.